Do you ever wonder if you can keep a bunch of quail roosters together or are they gonna fight? Are you gonna have all kinds of problems with them? That's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Hey there, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris. If you are not familiar with this channel, well, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you wanna do it. And today we're talking about keeping roosters together. Uh, keeping quail roosters together and what problems you might face with that. I've had a lot of people ask questions about that, want to know can you keep a bachelor pad of just nothing but roosters and uh, are you going to end up having problems? Well, this whole cage is nothing but roosters. I'm not sure how many are in there, probably about 15 or 20 at least. And uh, I've got to count them up, I can't remember. Uh, they're going on about two and a half months old, so they are, pr they are plenty mature, they're sexually mature adult birds. I have not had a single issue with them fighting, uh, no problems with them pecking on each other. Um, I do hear them crowing occasionally, but not that much. Now, I will say the key to that, probably one key to that, I, I should say, is we're in the, it's winter time right now. The days are awful short. I don't have a light on this hutch. I do on the one right next to it. Um, I do hear these guys crow occasionally, but they're probably not nearly as full of hormones as they would be if we were getting 14 hours of light. Now, if you don't know much about quail, you know they need about 14 hours of light in order for the hens to lay eggs and the males to crow. It's the amount of daylight in, in the day, 14 hours, this signifies it's breeding season for them. Now, if these guys were in the middle of breeding season, they're gonna be a little bit more amped up. They're gonna be a little bit more, you might have a few problems with aggression, probably not too many but you might have some more problems. Here's another key, these birds were raised together. They came out at, you know, from the egg as chicks and I separated all the roosters out, put them in this hutch right here to grow out uh, to process them. And today's processing day, I'm gonna be processing this entire hutch and most of my other one, because we're going into winter time, I don't need to keep a whole bunch of birds over the winter. Uh, so I will process them and uh, instead of feeding them out any longer. Uh, that's another kind of point I was going to say is I'm not really sure why you would want to keep a bunch of quail roosters around um, except for to grow them out to maturity. And if that's all you're doing is growing them out to like eight weeks old to where they're mature and fully, you know, full size to process, you shouldn't have any problems because really they're not going to be aggressive. You're not going to end up with any of those issues until they do reach sexual maturity. And at that point, that's when you're going to start seeing some kind of, you know, um, where they, if you're going to have aggression problems, it's going to probably be at that point uh, when you're going to have those problems. So if you're only growing them out, even if it is the middle of summer, the days are plenty long enough, you, you could you could get away with growing them out till eight weeks old easily by keeping them all together and not have any problems. And I'll open this hutch up here, we'll take a look at them, but uh, I mean, you can see probably in there, I don't know how well that's showing up. Um, I don't know how well that's showing up on camera, but these birds look fine. There's not a problem one with any of them. Come here. You can see there's no, no issues, no eye pecking, no scalping, none of those kinds of things going on. These birds are perfectly fine. I have not had an issue one with them. And I grew them out way longer than I intended to just because I had a lot going on. I couldn't get around to uh, processing them. But normally I would just keep them here until, like I said, grow them out to eight weeks old. That's about the time they're gonna hit sexual maturity. About the time you might see any kind of aggression problems anyway. And it's time to process them. So yes, you can easily keep a bunch of quail roosters together. Um, even though, it's, like I said, it's not summertime. We're not, I'm not um, getting a whole bunch of activity out of these guys. They are crowing occasionally. So I know that, you know, they still have the hormones going and I'm still not running into any issues. So if you are having problems with aggression with your birds, I do have videos that address that. I'll try to link one right up here. Um, I am gonna be processing all these birds today. Um, and like I said, most of my other hutch, I'm gonna pare down to just about probably a dozen birds, 10 hens and two roosters. And uh, that's what I'm gonna keep all winter long and then you know, in the spring, ramp back up. Um, if you need uh, videos on how to process birds, I'll put a link up here, or maybe it's on this side, I can't remember, to a video I've done on processing birds and it'll show you how to do that. I'm not gonna show that all on camera today. Today's just a short video to address that question that's come up a couple of times. Uh, can you keep roosters together? Yes, you can. It works just fine. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. You got what you needed out of it. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, God bless.